I'm in front of TJ Maxx, which means it's deal hunting time. You guys know that I always come to Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Marshalls is really, really close to me. TJ Maxx is slightly at a distance, but I'm here today and I have recently seen some people score some amazing deals. So I was like, you know what? You had to get my butt off the couch and go and check it out. So that's what we're going to do. Today is also the last day of the giveaway, which means we'll be picking the winner today. So stay tuned. Somewhere during this video, I will be announcing the winner. All right, so let's go in and see what we can find. Look at the Christmas decor. Everything is so beautiful. I love stores at Christmas time. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. How much is this? $12, $13. And this one is so super pretty for someone with really little amounts of makeup. I mean, much lesser than me. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Hot cocoa? Oh, I might buy this one to just add a stocking stuffers for my kids. That'd be so cute. There are bigger containers also for five bucks. Oh, Charlie Brown. Oh, look at that. So cute. Reindeers or sand hat? Oh, there are different flavors. Okay. This was vanilla cream, candy cane, and chocolate. This one, there's peppermint, chocolate, and vanilla again. A lot of times their better beauty finds are in the exit aisle. So always check there. Here, there seem to be a ton of equal tools brushes. And these are $6 for a five piece. These look so pretty. Urban Studio. The brushes look so soft. That would be such a pretty gift. Four bucks for this brush. A very pretty Eco Tools set for five bucks. It's a little travel dry shampoo kit for six bucks by Pinch. I don't know this brand. A 10 piece brush set for $20. Who is it by? Why is it in this like? security tag thingy uh simply essentials it's a little bit on the pricier side doesn't it maybe it comes with a case too i don't know look at this one that looks so pretty again by simply essentials this is 20. i feel like this one is more justified at 20 dollars than the previous one Ooh, a good diva chocolate gift set comes with a sleigh 20 bucks comes with a sleigh box that say joy and then some godiva chocolates dog toys bella needs a gift it's supposed to be a squeeze oh there it is this is six bucks i think i'm gonna get it for bella look at that it's so cute one day when i have a pretty mantle and kids who do not break stuff i'm gonna buy all these things some of these jewelry pieces are so pretty They look so much prettier in person. Please buy the Philosophy Bath Sets from TJ Maxx, you guys. Like this $27 gift set is only for $17 here. Look at that. Like the $20 gift set is just $12.99. This three-piece bath set is... How much is it? Like $17 again. Yeah, only spend them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Uh, dreamy marshmallow bath bombs. Okay. They're five bucks or five. Um, that's a bit pricey. <laughs> a dollar a bath is pricey. Simply Measure seems to be the brand at DJ Maxx this year. Oh my course toilet shimmer perfume for 30 bucks. Elizabeth Arden is almost always here. They are Mabel's foundation for $5.50. That gives me a feeling that it's probably open. Someone has opened it. A lot of more brush sets. I polish this giant brush set is 
I'm assuming it's going to be 20. Tisha Max seems to kind of price them by the size. 25. Fan brush. Do you guys remember when I was kind of obsessed with fan brushes? This one is $13. <laughs> this Kobe the Australia gift set. It's just $15 and it looks so nice. It looks like it has wooden handles and really pretty brushes. It's very nicely wrapped up. Gigantic Mac Studio gift set in the back. It's just $15. And like a whole bunch of pigments, nail polishes, lip glosses, eyeliners, pencil liners, blush, brush, a highlighter and blush palette. Ellen Tracy is always here. It's always very affordable. Oh my god, it's a giant set. I didn't expect that. Look at that one. There's like a freaky glitter stuff in the top layer. And that one is $13. Very nice. This particular one comes with a very nice carrying case. It's $13. I don't think that's bad at all. True beauty. Case with lashes at the bottom. Four pairs of lashes. $20. Ooh, super sparkly brush set, $15. Clinique Aromatics in black set for $30. Betsy Johnson perfume set, is it? Yeah, perfume for $20. Bunch of Pacific gift sets for $10 each. I love their perfumes. Their perfumes are really, really good. Okay, we are at the clearance rack. I see some melted latex lipsticks for four dollars and fifty cents hair minerals invisible glue or something powdered highlighter for eleven dollars if you find items like these always ask them to open them for you and check them because sometimes they could be damaged bc cosmetics gigantic set thirteen dollars there are a bunch of advent calendars that looks so pretty this one is $13 Ooh, and it comes with like a whole bunch of eyeshadow quads, highlighters, blushes, lips. Oh, the design is so pretty. One more advent calendar. What's inside here? Similar stuff. Maybe slightly different items. There are ABS liquid highlighters for $8 here. Ellen Tracy. This looks exactly like a Makeup Revolution palette, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a Lancome metallic lipstick for $15. Like, what? What is this? This packaging is already open. Let's see. That looks pretty, but like $15? No, thank you. Uh, this looks like another imposter brand. <laughs> yeah, they have a bunch of bath scissors. The price is about that, like a dollar a piece. Look at this eyeshadow palette, it's so cool. I don't know how good it is, but <laughs> kind of my doubts, but it looks so cool. Mm -hmm. Too Faced. Mermaid Tears, what is this? Uh, this is for $7. Let's check out what that one is. These look like nail polishes, but they're $8 each. What brand is this? Mineral something. And they are, ooh, look at that color. The rest of the colors are. That looks like a very pretty nude. The OPI Nut Cracker Collection is here for six bucks only. That's a pretty good price. OPI Pop Culture Collection. Again, six bucks. That looks like a lip gloss. So pretty. Cat Von D shade and light palette. I think this is the glimmer one for $27. Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon. $30. Anastasia Cream Contour Kits, $19. Paris Hilton Lip Glosses, I actually like them. I have a set from last year and it's very pretty, 6 bucks. Bare Minerals Eyeshadow, $13. The box looks like it has taken some damage. 
They have in the rolls. Original foundation, which retails for $44 or $13 from $44 to $13. Really good price. Too Faced. Ooh, the Too Faced Christmas collection is here. The 2018 set. What? Boss Lady Beauty set. How much is this? It doesn't have a price on it. Let me check. There you go. This is $30. Someone has decided to open it. Seems like it comes with some diary. What does it come with? It comes with a diary, some stickers, and a whole bunch of eyeshadows. And it is from this year. That's super cool. There is Anastasia subculture galore here. <laughs> what? What is the... This is P7G25. Isn't that one of the good batch codes? Yeah. I think it's one of the latest batch codes. Like, it's here for $25. Like, why? There are at least how many? I see like... One, two, three, four, five six seven eight like nine subculture palettes here super goop invisible powder these are expensive usually fifteen dollars nars lipstick lip pencil fifteen dollars reduced to fourteen pacifica eyeliner gel five bucks a lot of Pacifica guiders today ton of bare minerals items here for 10 bucks each these powders more melted latex six bucks more bare minerals what was in here i don't know six bucks nars 10 bucks whole bunch of cat wand d metal crush single eyeshadows five bucks each there are like a ton <laughs> ton of bare metals powders without the packaging i suppose seven dollars each and they're in the darker shade which usually never happens more abh liquid lipstick eight dollars oh that's a very pretty shade seriously it has so many cat one d metal crush shadows in that same exact color contrast struck some Stila Aqua Glow Serum Concealer. Six bucks. That's not bad in deep. Bare Minerals Correcting Concealers. Again in dark. Six bucks each. Lancome Eyeshadows. I remember seeing them at my uh, Marshalls too. Ten bucks. Whole bunch of Bare Skin Foundation. For ten bucks each. That's not bad. This is Bare Walnut. One more Bare Bananas eyeshadow palette in Power Neutrals, $13. Lancome Waterproof Eyeliner, $15. More of the Mermaid Tears lipsticks from Too Faced. Smashbox Mascara, $8. Bucks. Bare Bananas Gen Nude lipstick, $6. Bucks. Katy Perry Cover Girl Lashes for $3. MAC eyeliners for $20. Ricky's gift set. Oh, that looks very pretty. $20. I don't know what these Revive lashes are, but the box is fancy. These are $4 each. Let me know in the comments below if you know, you know what this brand is, if it's supposed to be a good brand or what. Yep, I recently tried some magnetic lashes. If you haven't seen that disaster, check that one out. So there are different styles here. Pretty in Paris, natural, Beverly Bear, I guess. No, Beverly Hills bombshell. <laughs> Not Beverly Bear. What is this, glow, I'm assuming? Ten dollars. The shade is truffle. I'm amazed that they have like the darker shades today, which is pretty cool. This is bare minerals five in one. 
Brown's eyeshadow or fiber. Ooh, Bobby Brown. What? What is this? 35 bucks. What is it? Ruby eyeshadow palette. I just opened this palette to check what it looks like. Look at that palette. Oh my god. Like. Alright, so I'm done. I stayed way longer than I planned to stay initially. I spent way more than I had planned to initially. And I got some really amazing stuff that I totally did not expect to find. I got the Bobby Brown palette and some other stuff. I got some chocolate ornaments which are so cool. Hold on. I need to show them to you guys. Like, check these out. These are ornaments made of chocolate. That's so cool. Of course, we'll need to hang them on the very last day before, you know, the Christmas, like on Christmas night, pretty much after kids go to bed. I got some PJ Masks cookies, which I will put out the night of Christmas again under the tree. I found a really, really cool bath fizzy. A tree. How awesome is that? And this one was only eight dollars, and it has a lot of bath busy, so it's perfect. It gives me a nice decorative kind of element, and it comes with uh, bath fizzies that don't cost like a dollar per piece. I keep on missing where the viewfinder is in this. It's here. Anyway, so thank you again for joining me, and uh, stay tuned for the giveaway winner. Hi guys. As you can tell, it's a couple of days later and I have been thinking about how to make the winner announcement because I want the winner to get back in touch with me within two days of being announced as the winner. And that will be basically two days after this particular video goes up. And if they don't get back to me, then I will pick another winner. And because of that, I have been thinking about how to go about making the announcement. I was like, if I make the announcement in this video and the winner does not get back to me, then, you know, that person's name just stays here in this video, which is kind of weird. So what I have decided instead is that I will announce the winner's name in the description box of the original giveaway announcement video where I show you guys what the prices are. Unfortunately, we did not reach the uh, 1K uh, entries. So I will not be doing the Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster as a prize, but of course, all the amazing makeup goodies are still there. And you know, congratulations to the winner. If you did not win, please don't be disheartened because I have a ton of stuff that I'm planning another giveaway with. I actually realized <laughs> after I did the first giveaway announcement that I had all these stuff that I had ordered and I had gotten from Ulta that I did tell you guys I was going to include in the giveaway which I didn't so I need to do another giveaway okay so another one will be coming up soon so you know just stay tuned just stay subscribed you know keep on uh, commenting so that I know you guys so please don't be disheartened if you didn't win but I wanted to say congratulations once again to the winner and if you are new to the channel then you know I'm glad you guys are subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.